On today's show, a study says that car sharing could actually increase car sales. A new feature for motorcycles can automatically cancel a turn signal, and Toyota shares its strategy for tackling long-range EVs. All that and more coming right up on AutoLine Daily. This is AutoLine Daily for March 29th of 2016. There's a debate over whether ride-sharing services and autonomous vehicles will hurt car sales. But a new study from Deutsche Bank shows that it could boost sales in the future. With more people living in higher density areas and using ride-sharing, the number of vehicles on U.S. roads could drop by at least 25 million. However, an on-demand vehicle is expected to last about three years because of heavy usage. So the high rate of turnover will lead to more sales. They're expected to travel up to 20% more than six to nine privately owned vehicles they replace combined. The analysts also believe the auto industry won't be as cyclical because sales will be determined by miles traveled or how long the vehicle lasts rather than the economy or credit conditions. Having a good presence on the web is essential to any business. If you're a car dealer looking to boost traffic to your website, here's a possible solution. Globe Runner, a company that analyzes search engine optimization, just released a study that found from switching from a .com to a .car or .auto domain name helps boost web traffic. It looked at St. Louis Motor Cars, which just recently made the change from www.stlmotorcars.com to www.stl.cars. The study found that the search ranking for the new name improved for over half of the keywords tested. New sessions to the site increased 7.5%, referral traffic increased by a third, and social media traffic was up 20%. Only the domain name was changed, so it wasn't anything new on the site that drove more people to it. But you'll have to make sure the switch is worth the money. Top-level domains, which include .cars or .auto, can cost up to $3,000. And we'll take a look at some new technology right after this. Auto Line Daily is brought to you by Bridgestone Tires, your journey, our passion. Dow Automotive Systems, breakthrough technologies for lightweight vehicles. And by Lear, a global leader in automotive seating and electrical systems. It can be frustrating driving behind someone that doesn't realize they have a turn signal on. But a new startup from Slovenia called ABC's System has developed a solution to help forgetful motorcycle riders. Its device is able to automatically cancel a turn signal by analyzing the bike's lean angle, direction, vibrations, and acceleration to detect if a rider has completed a turn. Unlike other systems that use timers or simple sensors, the smart turn system, as it's called, uses an algorithm to cancel the signal. The device is wired directly into the existing turn signal system and can be done yourself if you have the correct know-how. The smart turn system will be available for pre-order starting next month in Europe and carries a price tag of 150 euro or about $170. Lincoln made headlines with the gull-wing doors on its new navigator concept, but Hyundai is taking the upward-swinging doors to a whole new level. The automaker filed a patent that combines a gull-wing and sliding door together. It makes for great access to the back of the vehicle, but if there's not enough space to open it up, you can just use the sliding door. This concept is being shown on an RV, and Hyundai really sees the technology as a great application for the camping market. And speaking of patents, Toyota is working on a new head-up display. Its unit differs from today's by combining data from the ECU as well as a front and interior mounted camera to move the information around the windshield. Because the image can move, it's able to find the driver's viewpoint and the idea is it will keep the driver better informed. And we'll have more about Toyota's EV strategy coming up next. For the people at Dow, racing is a sport and a science. We enjoy one 
and learn from the other. But like most competitive people, we like winning at both. This is the human element at work. Dow. Most automakers agree that EVs are here to stay. But one problem still facing battery electric vehicles is they can't meet the driving range of gasoline-powered cars. But at the New York Auto Show, Toyota's North American CEO, Jim Lentz, told us that it's taking a little bit different of an approach to the segment. We think pure battery electrics serve a purpose, but it's not in long range vehicles. We, we don't believe a 300 mile range electric makes a lot of sense. We're gonna leave that to the fuel cells and we'll leave battery electrics to smaller vehicles, more commuter type vehicles with 30 to 50 mile range. There's a lot of great information about Toyota's operations in the U.S. in that interview, and you can watch it right now on our YouTube channel, along with all of our other New York coverage. And be sure to join us for AutoLine After Hours this Thursday. Joining John and Gary is Jessica LaFon, the lead engineer for the Chrysler Pacifica, and she'll be bringing one into the studio. So if you have any questions about the new minivan, send them our way to viewer mail at autoline.tv. That show airs live at 3 p.m. Eastern Time on our website, autoline.tv. That wraps up today's show. Thank you for watching, and please join us again tomorrow.